I was determined to succeed in business and had all but forgotten my family history. My focus was on work and work alone, and I was climbing fast, gaining money, power, prestige, and I sought nothing less than a beautiful trophy wife that would look good next to me in photographs. You know, I even picked out the ring before I picked out the girl. When I saw Lydia, I knew she was the one who'd wear it. She appeared classy and sophisticated. And something else that set her mm. apart from the others. You have to understand that to have the best, you have to pay the most. 2000 for the night. We were wed three weeks later. Man and wife. We had no honeymoon. Or to say it more accurately, our life <laughs> was the honeymoon. Even now, I have a difficult time pinpointing the moment when the fun came to a halt. But I do recall one morning looking in the mirror. I saw the face of my father. He had returned to haunt me. It was uncanny how much I'd come to resemble him. Same hairline, same eyebrows. And I began to think that if one is destined to inherit the image of their parent, perhaps they're destined to inherit everything else as well. And it was then that I lost all focus. Why don't you just crawl the tip of this pad focus. with your eyes when I move it? I began having nightmares. Outbursts were a daily ritual. Do you do without your glasses? The testing ensued, yes. The doctors yes. thought I was everything from mm. manic depressive to hypoglycemic. How do you feel? Good. Interesting. They had no clue. But I did. Genetics had come to take its due. And in a weak moment, I decided the only way to slay the beast was to look it directly in the eye. So, I eliminated all traces of the life I had fabricated over the last 30 years. And I uprooted Lydia and brought her back to my childhood home. The job, the money, the power, it was all clutter that I had accumulated to obscure who I truly was. My father's son.